Hey guys, so I'm going to be teaching you how to create a cover photo that is appealing and really attracts people to your page um, on Facebook using the PC, your laptop, um, using different types of websites. So I'm just gonna show you some of my favorites. These are usually the only ones I use. Right now I'm actually using Rona on my iPhone. Uh, I think it creates beautiful images. The graphics are awesome and up to date. Um, they really fit my brand better than the graphics that are available on some of these. Um, but I'm going to show you some of my favorites. So I'm actually going to start with my least favorite one. Uh, this is PicMonkey. The reason that I have issues with PicMonkey, um, and, and I don't like it as much as some of the other apps, or the apps and websites, is that PicMonkey, you can't save anything. Even if you pay for the yearly membership, it doesn't save anything. So if I want to go back in, like on my Canva, you know, see it saves everything. So if I want to just update a Facebook cover photo for one of my uh, groups on Facebook, then I just go in here and I'm able to update it and make it um, a little bit different than what it was before. Or if I wanted to tweak something, especially for Beachbody coaches, I do my success club points leaderboards on here. So for me to do this on PicMonkey, it's going to delete it every single week, um, or unless I kept the website open, which is pretty much impossible. Um, so I create my leaderboards on my um, Canva because it's so much easier. And so I can just go in here each week and just update the names and points, and that's it. I actually have my assistant do that, um, but you can see how much easier that is. So let me exit out of these real quick. But if you decide that you just have to use PicMonkey, you definitely can. I just don't recommend it. So you're gonna go to design and then you'll just click Facebook cover. And then once you're in here, you can click on the little butterfly and you can actually add your own pictures or you can add other pictures, graphics that they have here. These graphics are pretty plain. Um, I really don't like them as much as other ones. The only thing that I, I do like about PicMonkey, other than some of the other websites, um, is that you can add your own text. So if you have a specific text that you really want to use that you can't seem to get into the other apps or um, on any of the other websites, then you can do it here. So whenever I click on text, it's taking a second. That's another thing. I've noticed that PicMonkey is super slow compared to everything else, and it, and it said like the flash plugin isn't working. I have like a fast computer, and it's updated frequently, so it's really weird that it's so slow. But anyway, I'll click on yours here, and you can see the ones that I've added. So this is one that I purchased. So that's my, um, actually my text that I added in there. If you wanna find where you can get text, go to dafonts.com, so D-A, F-O-N-T-S dot com. You can download those um, to use. So that's pretty much it with PicMonkey. Once you design your Facebook cover, then you can click here and you can change the settings if you need to. Um, I like to have it on King Kong, which makes it a big um, file, but it makes it look nicer once it's downloaded and you upload it into Facebook. But I've just found that PicMonkey is not as user-friendly. User There's not a lot of to me, there's not enough with it for me to want to use it. Um, so I don't use it hardly at all anymore. So that's my least favorite one. When you're ready to save it, you'll just click here. So I'm going to X out of this. My next favorite one um, is PhotoJet. Now this is really new. Um, I actually got introduced to this a couple months ago. And I've been using it for a lot of my stuff. It's a little bit more, I want to say commercial or... Um, corporate because you can see how these are kind of set up, but it's really really fun So once you go to social media click on Facebook cover And it already has all these templates over here. It's another thing with PicMonkey. There's no templates So you're basically kind of doing it on your own But I just love the way that these are laid out um, And I say it's a little bit more corporate only because it really is meant for your business almost so that's why I like it so for example like this layout here is perfect for a coach um, you can upload your photos here, so you can even connect your Facebook if you want, or you can go to your computer. Um, so let's say I want to add, you know, these are obviously not my pictures, but these are maybe some pictures that you would add. Um, if you want to change the um, 
I, if you click here, you can have a different effect. So maybe I want all of these to be black and white. So you can click here and make all these black and white. You can make it, you know, less able, you know, opacity you can change here to make it more transparent. Um, and then let me click here. There we go. So let's say I, I really like the way this, this is laid out and then I'm going to add some wording here. So right here, you can actually change the font. So you don't have to keep that same font, which I really like. So I can just say, I probably wouldn't really write that, but, and then I like that you can just kind of make it bigger or smaller using that. And then you can add your wording here. So you can add your photos, add your pictures into here. And this one, again, you can't save it. So if I download this, I have to redo everything again because it doesn't save anything. So if there was something that I would recommend for this website and PicMonkey is a way that you should be able to save these things. So Canva does that. That's why I love Canva. Um, we'll talk about that in just a second. But browse through here. There's some really awesome, let me click no there, some really awesome um, template layouts here. I just love it. And it's not just for Facebook covers. You actually can go and look at the other different ones for everything. So I've got tons of layouts um, that I really, really like. So you can go through here. And these are perfect for like if you have, if you want to recognize a coach um, on your team or something like that, you can do that as well. So I really, really like these. And if you want to add clip art, you can. You can change the background. So let's say I just want this to be, I don't want it to be a brick background, but I want it to be something different. Or you can even choose an image as your background. You can also add text. This is like a different type of text. This is too like clip arty for me. Um, I don't like how it doesn't like, I would never put this on top of an image. Um, that's just too like superhero-ish, I guess, or comic booky. Um, so I really don't like those, but that might be something that you need for your business. So anyway, I really like this uh, website. So again, it's photojet.com. So my next, my favorite, favorite one to use actually on the computer is canva.com. It's been the most user-friendly. It has the best features, in my opinion, and it saves them all. So I can go in here and I can see everything that I've ever made, even eBooks. So I've made clean eating eBooks. I've made um, trackers for my team. I mean, it's just really, really awesome. This is also where I make all my Facebook ad photos. It's just perfect. Now you have all these listed up here, but you can choose custom dimensions or you can click more and you have all these options here. But we're just talking about Facebook covers. So there on the front, it had Facebook covers, but I'm actually just gonna click on it here. And you can see all these different covers here. So I love that it does the YouTube thumbnail. So, cause I like to put the, um, the thumbnail, a different, like a custom thumbnail on all my videos. So I just use this. So Canva also has awesome layouts, but it will also, because I have the business version, which I love, it's definitely worth it. I wanna say that it's, I'm gonna say $9 a month. It might be $15 a month, but the perks of having it is it keeps all your designs over here. So if even if this is not in the same dimension as the YouTube or the Facebook cover, I can actually click on this and it will um, convert it to the right size. So even though these layouts may not, like this for example, maybe I created this graphic but I want it to be a cover photo. I can actually click here. Actually, let me go to, there's like a smart, let me undo that. Delete, delete. I'll show you how to do this easier. If you go into Canva, this is if you have the paid for version. So say that that picture I just clicked on, I want that to be a cover photo. So this, it's in A4. That's the document that I chose first. But now let's say I want it to be in a um, cover photo. You'll click on File, and you can click Magic Resize, or you can change the dimensions. So when you click on this, it will magically resize it to whatever you're looking for. So I want it to be, 
let's say I want it to be a Facebook post. So abracadabra resize, and it's going to change it into a Facebook post dimension. It's not perfect, but I can adjust it as needed. So I can just click on this and just move that down just a little bit. So it's pretty awesome. But if I wanted it to be custom dimension or change dimension, if it doesn't have one listed and I want it to be a Facebook cover, I would choose um, 16 by 9 because that's usually what the Canva uses and what everybody else uses. So let me go back here. I'm going to click on and actually use these dimensions here because that's what Canva uses. On apps and things like that, it uses 16 by 9. Um, but I'll click here and exit out of all of these. And you can choose your layout. So over here, a lot of Christmas stuff right now because that's what um, was going on a couple months ago. But say you want there to be some pictures in there. So let's say. Now, the ones that have the little uh, dollar sign next to it, that means you're going to pay a dollar usually for that graphic um, or that layout. If you see free, like this one, you're not going to be paying for any of it. Um, but like if I wanted this, I'm going to be paying for it because that is probably a, um, a background that they took from um, somebody who took the picture. So let's say I want to do. I'm going to go down here to all the pictures. <clears throat> so they have a lot of layouts in here. But let's say that I want it to just be pretty simple like this. So then what I'll do is go to uploads. And I've already uploaded pictures, but if you want to upload an image, you can go here. If you have the paid for version, your logo can be in here. So I already have my logos updated in here. So if I wanted to place it on top of something, I can. Um, so then let me go back to my uploads. And let's say I want this in one of the pictures. And this and this. There we go. Pretty simple. Now if I want to filter this, um, I can. So once I click on the picture itself, click on filter. Let's say that I want that to be my, let's say I want it to be gray. It's kind of boring though. We'll keep it the way it, the way it was. If you want it to just be black and white, by the way, and not be like gray scale, just turn all, the saturation all the way down there. Um, let me do this. There you go. So let's say that I like it like that. Um, and if I wanted to add wording, I could. I can go to text. You can see that I have actually uploaded my own text because I have the paid for version. Um, if you don't have it, you have the opportunity to just add text and you can change. There's tons of different ones you can add in here or th that they already have that are great. Um, but I just really liked this text style. And if you have the paid for version, when you go to your Canva, I'll show you how you upload this. So if I go into my Canva for work, you click on your brand and it saves my colors. So my colors are gold and black right now. And sometimes I use teal. I'm actually going to be changing that a little bit. Um, but right now it's just gold and black. So you can see that Canva goes ahead and creates all these templates for me because of um, my colors. So when you go into brand kit, you can see where I've added my colors here. And I can add more colors if I want to. And I just type in the color code. And then you can see where I uploaded my own font. So I've got my heading, I've got my um, subheading, and then I've got my text. And I also uploaded my logos. So my team logos are over here. And then this is really nice. Click on these suggested font combos. And you'll see some really good font combinations that you can start using with your graphics. Um, so I, I know that I dug in a little bit deeper than just a cover photo, um, but Canva is awesome. It's one of my favorites. 
uh, to use on my PC. Um, if you want to combine things, like say you like PicMonkey for one reason, but you like Canva for another reason, you can combine those things. You save it and then you open it and you um, change it in Canva if you want your own um, things for Canva. So these are just some, some examples of good co font combos that you can look at. Canva is probably my favorite. Again, um, I like paying for the membership and it's definitely worth it for me as much uh, graphics as I design. If you go into my Canva, I mean, you can see all the stuff that I've designed on here. And these are like, this is a whole like um, presentation for my team. So when I go in here, you can actually see I made a whole presentation for my team um, through here. So it's very easy for me to duplicate this and then just add my stuff um, in there as I go. So if I wanted to change this to a totally different um, presentation, it's just very easy for me to go in here and change it um, and delete some stuff and add some more stuff. So anyway, guys, I hope this helps. Now, when you go to save your cover photo, um, make sure that you, let me click here. So I didn't add a whole lot of wording or I didn't add any wording, um, but you can definitely do that if you wish to. But when you have this saved, or you're, you've got it completed, what you want to do is click download. And it should pop up. Download, and I like to click the high quality. So it's going to look really good when you upload it. Now, another thing that you can um, do too, is if you don't like this layout, so let me delete this, you would like to add some different pictures. Click on elements, and then click on frames. And here's all your frames that you can add. So let's say, I mean, this is kind of cool. So let's say I want one of my pictures to go in there. So that's kind of cool if that's your thing. Um, and then let's say, let me go back to elements. And something like this would be fun. So maybe I just want like one big picture over here. And then wording over here. So that could be fun. Um, so there's all kinds of different things you guys can do. Um, if you have, like say you want people to find you on an app or something like that, whatever you might be doing for your business, you can upload a little phone and put yourself here and say, you know, download my app here, follow me here on Instagram, whatever it might be. Um, so there are a lot of options here. That's why I love Canva. You really don't run out of options because there's so much you can do with it. So anyway, guys, I hope this helps and um, good luck creating your cover photos. Bye guys.